Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is JR Looks. <clears throat> if you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share. Yo, so today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. That's Taurus in all placements. Okay. Yo, so Taurus, I feel like it's been a lot going on for you, right? So the channel song I have for you, it's called Put Your Records On by Karim Bailey. And if anybody knows how the chorus go, it go... Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Just go ahead, let your hair down. Yo, so when I channeled that song, I pictured like the end of the world, right? And everything is going to shit, right? Like literally. And I feel like you know everything is going to shit. You ain't even stressing, right? I feel like like spirit wants you to, yo, look, light a joint, put your favorite record on, what your favorite song, whatever it is you do, yo, let everything happen, right? So with that being said, I also feel like your grandfather is significant because, yo, so when I used to be like super crazy stressed, I can go to my grandpa house and sit and play dominoes with him and not even tell him what I'm going through, yo, we can be playing and he would just look at me, right? And I'd have an expression on my face, right? And my papa would say, like, after after about seven minutes, right, my papa would look, put his domino down and say, it'll work itself out, right? So I feel like with that being said, yo, if you have a, a grandparent that passed over, they saying, yo, don't stress, it's going to work itself out, right? Yo, okay, so your channel messages are the Clue movie, gag order, silence you, like trying to silence you, distractions. Um, I feel like a cancer is involved, right? And with that being said, I feel like, you, Taurus, you need to go back and watch. Um, I got a reading uh, for cancer called uh, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, Speak No Evil. So I feel like uh, your sister is involved in this, right? Um, because that, that's, that, that reading also talks about turning the blind eye, right? Um, I'm tired of this church. Yo, so if anybody sees that meme, Yo, it's a little boy who's who, who who's little black kid who's standing in church and they're like, yo, you got to announce me? He's like, yeah. So they give him the microphone and he's like, I'm tired of this church. And everybody like, damn, they, they shouting and shit like, whoa. And, and, and the lady was like, that was your announcement? I say that to say, yo, if anybody knows, like if, if, if growing up black in church, like in church, church, a nigga be there all the time, like three, four times a week, right? So, uh... I understand what the little boy was saying, yo, I'm tired of this church, but for this reading, I'm tired of this church. I feel like somebody's like in a cult or or, or a situation where, yo, they are tired of this shit, right? That yo, they they're they're like, yo, man, look, I can't do this no more, bro. I'm like, I'm I'm cool, right? Um, rotten fruit falls on its own, right? That's a whole phrase I came across, yo. So if if, if you know they say the bad apple spoils a bunch. Usually once they find a bad apple, they get rid of that motherfucker, right? And that, that's on a tree, that's in a, in a bunch, whatever the case may be. So I feel like rotten fruit falls on its own. If somebody's giving you a hard time or doing something to you, rotten fruit falls on its own. Yo, it, uh, yo, uh, it, yo, the situation, uh, back to what my grandpa said, it work itself out. They, they, yo, they will, uh, let's go, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, yo, be careful to roll a stone or it roll back on you. Um, and if you dig a ditch with someone, you will fall in that same ditch. So... Yo, they'll crash into a wall on their own, right? Um, I also got Hollywood, whatever that means. Um, Max Dennison from Hocus Pocus, if y'all know who that is, that's the um uh the guy who lit the black flame, the black flame candle. Um uh yo, not reaction, not excuse me, not reacting is a reaction, right? So if somebody is expecting for you to react, uh yo, not reacting is a reaction. So I feel like your reaction is completely throwing somebody off, right? Like, I, I feel like somebody was told or prompted on how to give you a hard time and make you get out of character, whatever the case may be. And, yo, you didn't do that. You actually, you didn't react, right? So that reaction in his own, I feel like somebody is scared. Right? I got Ann Wilkes from Misery, right? If you need to watch that movie if you haven't seen it. That's from the 90s also. It's called Misery and Will. So I explain it here shortly. Um, plagiarism, forgery. Yo, be yourself. Samson from Half Bay. Yo, um, old, old man. Who, the quote, um, 
Be afraid of an old man. Be be afraid of an old man in a profession where young where where men die young. Be afraid of the old man in a profession where men die young. Um, zombies, and drink more water, hydrate, and recharge. Okay, so let's go first to the Clue movie. You all feel like somebody has been trying to silence you by distracting you or, or, or causing mishaps around you to silence you from telling whatever it is you're saying. So the Clue movie, if anybody knows, I've never personally seen that movie, but I know that movie is also a board game and a book series from the 90s. It's pretty much a whodunit. Now, I always knew that, but I never really knew the premise of the uh, of, of the movie. Yo, so the actual the actual game, movie, books, yo, there are about six people who get invited into a creepy ass mansion, right? And everybody who comes to this mansion, uh, the person who invited them knows knows a deep dark secret about it. So, yo, they're pretty much being blackmailed and extorted, right? So when they get there, it's like, yo, what the fuck we here for now? Everybody here, they know they secrets, right? Yo, so they hit the lights, they tell them to do something, right? Like, because again, I'm, I'm blackmailing you. I know your secrets, whatever the case may be. So you essentially gotta do what I want you to do if you don't want your, your cover blown. Right, so they go to tell them what to do. They hit the lights, and the person who's giving out all the instructions, who essentially knows the secrets, yo, they get killed. Right, so um, and then slowly but surely, everybody else, if everybody else here knows the secret, they slowly start killing off everybody else. So I feel like people have been trying to silence you or trying to silence you because you're giving up their secrets. And if you're not giving up their secrets, just the mere fact that you know this and could expose them about them, yo, it's driving them insane. So I feel like. Um, um, somebody's been trying to silence you with the Clue movie. Yo, and now what's even crazier is enemy who helps you. Yo, so there's a, 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 that's so fucking crazy. Yo, so there's a Family Guy episode where they play Clue, right? And if, if you watch Family Guy, you know, since the beginning, Stewie has always been trying to kill Lois for whatever reason. That's his mom, right? Yo, but at the end of the, at the end of the TV show, I guess the killer is trying to kill Lois, right? So they are off on the cliff, oh, they're off on the edge of a cliff, and 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 the guy or whoever or the girl, it's the girl who's trying to kill Lois, has her on the edge of the cliff. She didn't kill everybody else, yo. And as he's about to throw over, you hear a gunshot, and the girl falls over the cliff, and and Lois is like, yo, where did that come from? And it shows Stewie way the fuck back with his scope saying. If anybody's going to kill that bitch, it's going to be me. So I say, I feel like, yo, you have an enemy who's going to help you. That sounds crazy as shit, yo. I literally just got the image of that from Family Guy. I feel like, yo, one of your, one of your enemies, just, I did a read not too long ago, yo, where I say, yo, your, your, your enemies are starting to feel like there's got to there's be a qualification for you to be an enemy, right? So if, if you just, yo, your enemies feel like they should be the only one hating on you, right? They feel like they grudge is their grudge for whatever reason, but they feel like somebody shouldn't have no grudge against you because they personally know you. So I feel like your enemies are pissed. You have other people coming after you and their mentality is, well, shit, if anybody going to get them, it's going to be me. So I will get rid of y'all. This this, this back to, uh, I, now I see the vision of the guy they hired on um, John Wick to kill John Wick, right? But it was actually his partner from way back when. So instead of killing John Wick, he was shooting shit around him to know, like, to show him, like, hey, yo, people are trying to get you. Yo, it's actually me. But just to show you, yo, hey, get up out of here, bro. They, 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 motherfuckers is trying to get you. And while they were, while he, while somebody else was trying to kill him, although he was contracted, he was shooting the people that was trying to kill John Wick. So I feel like, yo, you got an enemy or a, hit, or, or, or a hidden helper amongst enemies, right? So that's the clue. Um, Yo, so for, for the cancer involved, like I say, turning a blind eye, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I feel like this is a, a sister because in that reading I did, yo, that was a little girl of the siblings that only survived or who was still alive. They were under the stairs, but she she was the only one in the couch, in the house. So I feel like um, um, she, your sister's involved with this, right? So um, Annie Wilkes, I feel like, yo, if, so back to Annie Wilkes um, in Misery, uh, yo, she was crazy as a motherfucker, right? 
It's, it's like she wants to, she wanted to be, um, what is, what was the guy? What was the water's name? Paul Sheldon. She wanted to be the, the writer so bad. Like, like, like she locked the nigga up in the room, bought him a new typewriter and was broke his legs and was like, yo, either you gonna, either you gonna, uh, kill, kill this. I mean, either you gonna rewrite this book or I'm gonna kill you. Right. She was putting gasoline all on the bed. She made him uh, burn all his previous works. Right. So, uh, I, yeah, I feel like, yo, Yo, somebody wants to be you so bad, right? So when I said plagiarism and forgery, I feel like, yo, they have, they've been saying literally what you've been saying. They might've been watching your content or whatever it is you're doing, trying to do it in a different way, but essentially using everything you saying, um, uh, like rearranging it, try, like trying to paraphrase or, or rephrase it to make it seem like it's not you, but it's plagiarism, right? And then the forgery, I feel like they've been signing documents that belong to you in your name, certified documents, whatever the case that may be. Um, Samson Half Bake. So Samson and Half Bake is 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 uh <laughs> what what Dave Chappelle say? I want to talk to Samson. Fly me to the moon like that bitch Alice Gramson. I feel like yo uh somebody here is faking the injury because at the end at the end of the uh, 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 of the fight they had with Samson, they thought he was in a wheelchair and he got he got up. And grabbed, uh, grabbed, uh, they, uh, the Cuban dude. He said, first, I'm gonna kill you. Then I'm gonna kill your friend, your Mexican friend here. He said, I'm Cuban B. <laughs> he said, yes, Cuban B. So I feel like somebody here is faking an injury, faking an injury, a debilitating injury. Somebody's acting like it ain't what it is, right? Um, old, old man who died young and be afraid of the old man who died. Oh, the old man in a, in a profession where men die young. Yo, so Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, um, for example. Yo, Floyd Mayweather is 46, 40, excuse me, 46, 47, right? 51 and one. And uh, relatively, his last 15 to 20 fights was young guns. They threw at him under, thinking that, thinking that uh, he didn't have it no more. Uh, this young up and coming is going to beat this dude, whatever the case may be. But Floyd would be would be would be the um, the epitome of this quote because you know you you think about it the average life shelf excuse me the average shelf life in boxing you got about five or six years tops yo know, so once you get over that hill which is six or seven yo know, they 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 yo know, they feel like yo know, you you beat and banged up if you ain't won a whole bunch you beat and banged up and at this point you're you're, you're padded you're padded you're padded fighters. For the up and coming, so they to get their record up, so they know they're gonna whoop your ass, right? But if you there at Floyd's age, right, and, and where people essentially don't make it this long, yo, I'd be afraid of that nigga, right? This is somebody is who knows all the tricks of the trades, yo. So be afraid of the old man in a, in a profession where men die young. So I feel like your age has something to do with it. Uh, somebody can feel like you're inexperienced or somebody can feel like you're too old for a situation. But for, uh, if you around doing this and you still here, I, you know, you're supposed to be doing it, right? Um, zombies, they want your brain. I feel like motherfuckers is stupid as shit, right? This goes back to plagiarism and forgery. I feel like, uh, again, when Ann Wilkes' misery replacement, she was trying to lock him up to replace him. When the police came and looked for uh, Paul Sheldon, uh, she, she put the nigga in the basement and he was looking all around the house. He couldn't find the basement. And uh, uh, he took a, he, she took him to the room where she had Paul Sheldon at uh, typing and shit. Showed him the typewriter, the the manuscript that he was writing. Was like, yo, uh, God told me I was gonna be his replacement. Yo, you want to read some of the writing? And and the dude like, nah, I, I'm cool. You know, he, he, as far as he concerned, he done looking around, right? So um, zombies they want your brain, yo. Somebody wants your whole mindset outside of one. If, if they want, if they want your mindset, yo, this quote. I mean, this 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 phrase that I wrote down, be yourself. They want to be you. Uh, you want me to say it in Spanish? Yo, que I said tu. They want to be you, right? So I feel like zombies, they want your brains. These are, are, are these motherfuckers is stupid. Uh, a zombie, yo, what, what do a zombie want? Brains, right? Bra right, right? Brains means smart. Yo, you're smart. The, 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 the head of the operation. I feel like, yo, so you the head of the operation. You the brains of it. So you got People who want your brains, right? They want to be you. They want to, uh, that, that song again, I'm hearing from uh, Jungle Book. Oh, Scooby-Doo, I want to be like you. 
I want to walk like you, talk like you, true. Yo, so that's your, those are your channel messages, Taurus. Let's get it to your reading. Yo, so you already know, as usual, I saved the cards. Today I use Florida water, but uh, same thing. I say, you know, we good to go. So let's get a, let's get an Oracle message for you. Yo, that's super cool. Yo, we here. The beat must go on. The show must go on. Yo, Taurus, in the meantime, in the midst of all of this shit, yo, put something on you. Like, I wouldn't care if it was a movie. Yo, put yo, put something, even clothes. Yo, put something on that brings you back to where you, you were carefree. So, put like, as a child, yo, put on shit you used to watch as a child, right? Just whatever it is that made you feel like you didn't have a care in the world. As a child, yo, you don't know that your mom's about to lose the house. The, the, the power's about to go off. Uh, or where the food's coming from, right? As far as you're concerned, you're playing Crash Bandicoot and, and, and eating Doritos. You have no clue what's going on. So Spirit is saying, yo, do that, yo. Everything will work itself out. Ain't, hmm. Yo, we turn today. Okay, God. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, yo, man. We have an Oracle message for Taurus, please. Give y'all a good couple shuffles. Y'all know how I do. Oracle message is transmission, spreading of conditions, influence, impact. Transmission, spreading of influence. What does it say? Influence, impact. Spreading of conditions, influence, impact. So seven. Seven in tarot represents um, strategy, scheming, plotting, trying to figure out something. So Spreading of conditions, influence, impact. So first and foremost, I feel like, yo, um, somebody's gossiping, right? Somebody trying to change um, the the your public perception. Somebody's, right? Um, another thing is, yo, check your transmission. Check the fluids in your car. I know I need to. I just thought about that, yo. Um, check the transmission of your car, right? Also, somebody has clout. Somebody has clout here, right? Somebody can say something right uh and, and people follow what they do right or this could be you um and, and, and as far as impact this goes back to clout yo uh somebody who's a great speaker also right um some, something significant about somebody's voice um yeah spread enough conditions transmission so oh if you're doing some sort of content um oh or 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 social media or whatever it is yo people are talking about you right uh people are talking about how good you are or, or whatever this may be yo yo but people are saying great things about you also right i feel like you got some fans yo because look at these females in the um in the picture right so you got some you got some ooglers right you got pe people are looking yo be careful yo i just seeing yo look they got they got um they have uh uh, fangs, right? So they vampires and they need blood, right? So just this goes back to what I said, yo. People want to drain you, yo. People want um your brain, so be careful with that, right? Be careful who you talk to, yo. And I noticed there's also a, a a baby pig in um in one of their arms. So uh, the Bible says, yo, uh, don't give what is sacred to swine, for they will trample on it. So be careful of who you give advice and wisdom to, right? Uh, I heard the phrase, uh. Uh, yo, you know what? Every time I talk to you, I get stupider. Casting your pearls amongst swine. Yo, so be careful of that. Right? Yo, so we get three, 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 three cards of tarot, please. And thank you. Yo, we're using a supernatural deck. If anybody's seen that TV show, it'll help you further uh, see what's going on. Coming into the theme of uh, using, using different cards with different images uh, that people are familiar with so they get a better understanding of what's going on. Um... Thank you for the response to the card of the day, by the way, too. Uh, people like that, so be looking on that. Okay, so let's get a, a current energy for, uh, for Taurus. Please and thank you. It's kind of quiet, y'all. Everything just got quiet. Taurus, what's going on? Everything just got quiet, right? 
I just heard uh there's a song by Field Mob called called Um Sick of Be Lonely. Yo, and one of the one of the ad libs in the song is I don't finish your statement. So cats got your tongue, right? You spotted somebody, you said something, uh uh Yo, you got somebody figured out, you said exactly on something, yo, you touched on something, they can't even say nothing. Don't finish your statement. Okay, so the current energy we have for Taurus and Tarot is the two of wands, the two of, two of bones and the upright. So I feel like uh on media, yo, uh, you're making great decisions, right? Uh two of wands is also being chosen, yo. So not only are you chosen or people are picking you or choosing you, um, whatever decisions you've made or you're making or you choose to make, yo, I see you making great decisions, right? Two of bones, right? I feel you making great decisions. Two of wands, right? This card says two of bones and I, I'm not really picking up anything for the bones, but On that note, yo, I feel like you need some vitamin D. Yo, start taking your vitamins. Um, this goes back to hydrating. Yeah, take your vitamins, vitamin D, calcium, um, anything that's for bone health. I feel like, yo, uh, take a look into your bones, right? Uh, get your strength back. This goes back to recharging. Yes, uh, I don't know if you drink milk or whatever it is, yo, but get you some calcium and vitamin D. But I also feel like, yo, you're making great decisions. And whatever it is that you're doing, yo, whatever you got going on, whatever your endeavors or prospects are, yo, you've been making great decisions. Great decisions. You're also chosen. Yo, and the card to clarify that is Seven of wands, or excuse me, seven of bones. So not only are you making decision, yo, if you made the decision to, uh, if you, if you made the decision to stop dealing with certain people, um, stop going to certain places, protect your energy, uh, lean back on certain things, yo, that was a wise decision of you, right? Because wands also represent energy. So, so I also feel like, yo, it's a need for you to protect your energy, right? Whatever it is you're doing, yo, keep a tight lip about that. Keep a tight lip about that. Uh, keep your business to yourself. Don't be looking to have over a bunch of company right now. Um, that's the that 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 that's um that's what's up. I also see I also see you just like minding your own business, not bothering nobody, right? So I feel like um with the two of wands and the set and, and the seven of wands, or excuse me, two of bones and the seven of bones, which is nine nine. Oh, thank you. Yo, my teacher is so smart, right? Yo, so by the I, I just realized something she told me, right? So this this actually turns out to nine of wands. So I feel like, yo, somebody feels some kind of way, right? I feel like, yo, you're the wounded warrior. You, you, you've been holding your own, right? Um, You can hold your own, right? And not only that, somebody feels some type of way that you've been holding your own, right? Right? Uh, two of wands. No, that's one of the wands. Excuse me. Right? So, somebody feels some kind of way, right? <laughs> that you, that you, somebody's mad you set boundaries, right? People are bothered by your boundaries. People don't like the fact that you set boundaries, right? Right? It's like, who she, who she thinks she is? Who he think he is, right? Who the fuck do you think you are? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, so. Get a card of advice for Taurus, please. Yo, don't even worry about this shit, yo. <laughs> yo, keep doing what you're doing, right? Put your records on. Yo, keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your lane, stay in your zone. Yo, if it don't, if it don't bother you and don't affect you, hey, look, keep that shit away from me, right? Yo, so. Let me get a card of advice. Taurus, your card of advice is
we got the four of pentacles. Like I said, yo, keep your plans to yourself. Keep your money to yourself, your secrets. I just, yo, that's crazy how 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 the universe confirmed that. I just told y'all, be tight lip about what you got saying. Yo, four of pentacles means secrets. Keeping secrets, keeping your business to yourself. This could be a big secret. Keeping an eye on your money, watching what you're doing, like like being tight lipped. Not, not, not so much as being a cheapskate or a tight wall, but yo, right, right now, now is it's important for you to hold on whatever resources, whatever little bit of money you got, I feel like you're going to need it. Um, hold on to your money. Keep your secrets to yourself. Uh, keep a, a, a tight watch, a, a tight watch on, on, on everything that's yours, right? That means something to you. Yo, and with that being said, uh, thank you for watching my channel. Yo, I wish you guys well. Um, goodbye.